Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm currently here in Georgia in the Caucasus and if you haven't checked it out yet the last last three weeks I've spent mountain biking together with my good friends to cross the entire Caucasus from Tbilisi to the Black Sea. So if you haven't checked it out yet you can find it on my channel. So two weeks ago we came rolling down here from the Chauki Pass to Stepansminde and then this huge mountain, this huge Kazbek snow covered uh, came into our sight for the first time and it immediately caught my attention and I thought well this, this could be a really cool experience to, to try to climb one of those huge mountains here in the Caucasus. So uh, yeah since then I've been thinking about when to do it, how to do it and I finally made the decision now to give it a try. Mount Kazbek is the third biggest mountain here in Georgia and overall the eighth biggest mountain in the Caucasus. So I figured this is a really cool thing to sum up the whole Caucasus experience that we had the last couple of, of weeks here. And to all my German followers, um, I'm sorry for switching to English right now, but I find it really challenging to switch back and forth between German and English because right here I, I just talk, talk English basically. I'm, I'm sure you understand English as well, so it shouldn't be a problem for you guys. So yeah, come follow me on the, on the trail up. I'm trying to, get, to give you an idea of the whole experience of hiking up this mountain. So let's go to the high camp. As always, I haven't really prepared myself, I haven't read a lot, just the basics. I think it should be possible, even though it's not a guarantee. I mean, it's always depending on the weather for a little bit and also what my, how my body reacts to the height. I have been up to more than 6,000 already, so I feel like my body can theoretically handle it. But let's see how it, how it will do in the next three days. So my plan is today I will go up to the high camp. Um, tomorrow I will do a bit of acclimatization and then on Wednesday, today's Monday, I will try to go up to the summit. Yeah, I'm only by myself, that's a bit of a problem. You should probably not do it alone because there is a long way on the glacier to get up to the peak. So my plan is to find a group on the high camp that I can possibly join for the, for the summit. So let's see what kind of people are hanging out there on the high camp. I hear there's normally 50 to 100 people per day there. So I think there are, there are definitely chances to meet up with cool people. Yeah, the whole expedition thing is pretty uh, challenging, I'd say, because the, the hut over there is not offering anything, so any supplies. So you have to bring everything by yourself. I have three days of food with me. I have all the gears to walk on the glacier, like crampons, an ice axe. I even rented a thicker jacket, some gloves, some carabiners and stuff for climbing. Also my backpack is not super big, so I have only 33 liters. So it's pretty heavy and I put everything around the backpack, so it's like a huge thing right now. So the only thing that I don't know right now is if I will find a group. I'll just go there optimistically and, and see what's gonna happen and yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be a great experience.
I'm now at the highest point of my acclimatization round, which is a little church. Uh, the weather has been super bad the whole day. It was snowing a lot and the wind is super strong. So I can just hope that it's gonna be better tomorrow when I try to do the summit. Fingers crossed. It is harder than I thought to find a group. There's only big groups with guides and I they don't let anybody join. Um, so I have only two options. Let's see which one it's gonna be finally. We will probably start at 2 a.m. in the morning. And well, I mean, acclimatization so far has been good. I feel okay. I'm sure the, the air is pretty thin here, so the breathing is a bit harder. Yeah, let, let's see how it goes tomorrow. Currently 1.30 a.m. in the morning and I found a group of two lovely Latvian people. Shame on me, they were not from Latvia, they were from Estonia. <laughs> Sorry guys. But I can join to the peak now and yeah, we will not be the only ones. There's plenty of people going up today, so I'm optimistic that we can man manage to do it. And the peak is, right now, the peak is absolutely clear and it's, it's looking amazing. So can't wait to get up there. So let's hope the best and yeah, let's go. So guys, Welcome. I'm joined here with two lovely Latvian. Estonian. Estonian. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> okay, I'm joined here with two lovely Estonian guys. That's first is uh, Karel, right? Yes. And Kali. Kelly, yeah. Cool. So we are the group to join the other guided groups and hopefully make it to the summit. We, we don't join them, we just follow them. We just follow them, that's right. Yeah. We hope to make it to the summit in a few hours. It's actually pretty warm. It is. We took off our uh, down jackets. <laughs> Maybe I need to change my setup as well. But let's keep walking for a bit. Uh, too fast because I think we are catching them up. So we're just about to enter the glacier now. Um, got ourselves, got ourselves on the rope now put on the crampons and yeah <coughs> and on the horizon you can finally already see some daylight coming up so well so far so good ready to go yeah yeah, yeah. ready to go yeah it looks super cool with the rope Good. Breathing gets kind of hard now, but overall I feel okay, I feel good. There's not too much left to go, maybe 300 meters left. The, the guys are doing great. We're a lot faster than the other group, so that's really good. It's probably around 8.30 now. So yeah, some time left and still there's no clouds on the peak. So let's hope it stays like this. Stays like this. So this is probably gonna be the toughest part here. Let's see how it goes.
Thank you. Same for you. We made it. Oh, here we are. <laughs> so nice. Oh, congratulations. Well done, really. Super good. Congratulations. We made it! Woohoo! It took us eight hours and now we're on the top of Mount Kasbeck and we get rewarded with, a, with an astonishing view in, in every direction. So this is by far the highest point here and well, the weather is just perfect. Yeah, it took us eight hours to get up so it's really not an easy task to get up here. But like technically it's actually pretty easy. So I, I think everybody can do it. But yeah, you just need to to be a bit endurant and also the height you can definitely feel the height as well so breathing is kind of hard but well now we're here and that's just an amazing feeling i love it far in the distance you can see mount elbrus highest peak here in the caucasus and the highest peak of europe amazing views but also you can see that the caucasus is not that big i mean you can already see the end of it on both both sides so it's a lot smaller than the Alps, but but also a lot higher. Crazy. Nice. Wow. Wow. Cool. Normally you would stay in Nabenheit in the high camp, but since this is really not a place to hang out, it's super uncomfortable and no luxury at all, I decided to move on straight down back to Stepansminda. Just I'm close to Stepansminda now and I'm super exhausted. I mean I've been hiking now since 1.30 a.m. and now it's 7 p.m. so it's kind of 18 hours of hiking in high altitude on a glacier and then all the way down back to 1700 so but it was a fantastic day so I'm also super happy like everything went so smooth and I couldn't have asked for more it sums up the whole Caucasus experience just perfectly I will go now to my lovely Georgian mama and hope she's got a bed for me and some dinner and then this is it for the day <laughs> all right mama it was so nice here thank i love you. it thank you for everything thank Very you nice you're morning. welcome no problem okay i'm very glad that you've been in my home yeah okay bye bye ciao, ciao. and just like that four weeks of pure adventures in georgia went by a beautiful country with lovely people, which is definitely worth a visit. Hello, 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 and welcome to my studio. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick look out about what's coming next, because I'm currently already preparing my next huge adventure film project. And tomorrow we are going to Nepal. Yes, we are going into the Himalayas. Um, that's gonna be the next huge adventure film project. It's gonna be in um, three weeks long expedition in a very remote area there. I can't wait to tell you more about it. Uh, we have amazing sponsors on board. The first time we're gonna support a local charity organization. So there's a lot of things going on and uh, it's gonna be really exciting for me. If you wanna learn more about that project, like check out my Instagram the next couple of days. I wanna like post um, a few updates about that. Also want to reveal all our sponsors. It's looking like a big mess in here right now because I'm currently in the middle of the packing process. Um, so that's it for now. Thanks again for watching my videos. Leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye bye.